Hey guys, so today we're doing a hashtag Helix. We're answering your questions off of Twitter. We've got Alex reading the questions for us, so let's get into it. Sweet. First question from at HenFunChase. Uh, how old is Joey? I am 18. Uh, next question from at FuckerMofo. <laughs> uh, how did you decide to get into porn? Both of you. We were just um, talking about this, I think. We both kind of did the same thing. Yeah, we both really wanted to do it. Like, I guess we told everyone that we were really about doing it and blah, blah, blah. And I guess no one really took us seriously until they started watching our porn and jerking off to it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I kind of told everybody as a joke. And, and then, then nobody... Because I was always okay with doing it. Me and then too, nobody yeah. cared. So I was just like... Okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it, guys. So, here I am. Here we are. Sweet. Making a hashtag elix. Okay, next question uh, from at Creaky Cage. Uh, Joey, have you ever slept with a female? I did once. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was all right, but I mean, it wasn't my thing. So I just... Fair enough. What about you? Um, yes, I have totally. And I mean, it wasn't terrible, but I'd rather have sex with a guy at this point. But I wouldn't be opposed to it, I guess. I think it's not, it's just not, not my thing. Uh, next question from at uh, DSWFVH. Do you like the Arabs? I do. I, Middle Eastern men, just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> it's what I want. <laughs> but have you ever hooked like, up with a Middle Eastern guy? No, I fucking wish. <laughs> like, I don't, something about like the skin tone with like beard. Yeah, with like a nice like cleaned up like scruff. It's. They're supposedly hung too. Awesome. Yeah, are, are they? they? Really? That's right here. Or, you know, yeah. Oh like well, thing. fucking Sign awesome. Me up. Like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just Sweet. getting better and better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question from at Romeo Dude One One One. Aiden, so glad to see you're back. Um, what made you decide to return? Um, I was getting really bored in my actual <laughs> life, so I decided to spice it up again. Next question from at Chantel Nice. Uh, how many dicks can you put in your mouth at once, Joey? I mean, I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> I know I can get one in there. <laughs> Maybe two, but I do have braces, so it's like, you never know. <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah, it's a little dangerous. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> after the braces are gone. Yeah, after one, at your own risk. Yeah. <laughs> your own risk. We'll, have to, we'll do an experiment and we'll find out for science how many, <laughs> how many dicks you can get. <clears throat> for sure. Uh, next question from at Francis Mastro MJ. Uh, Joey, had you had sex in public before your lifeguard scene? A, a lot of times. <laughs> I wouldn't say in public, but like outdoors, yes. For sure. <laughs> Done a lot of outdoor sex. That's so. Cool. Like where at? Like what kind of? Um, there's a nature reserve next to my house multiple times. Um, there's a lot of cliffs around where I live, so fucking with a view is always also a good time. Um, just in the woods. I like to hike, so if you get in the mood while you're hiking, I mean, there's plenty of open area, so. Do you get off to, like, the thought of somebody catching you? Like, are you trying to get caught, or are you really Oh, no. Hell no, I'm not trying to get caught. Okay. <laughs> but some people, it's about, like, the... People like the sneakiness you. of yeah. it, I guess. Yeah, I don't like that. I can't. I don't. I <laughs> yeah, wouldn't. I'm always like, I'm always really like, looking out. But there's nowhere even where I live in the middle of fucking town. So in the woods, I don't know why I would see anybody. <laughs> but Bigfoot, sweet. <laughs> Bigfoot's gonna stumble upon me. Uh, next question from at um, Wolfpacker189. You know, this is kind of the same question. What's the craziest place you've had sex? Craziest place? Well, oh, I, mean, I guess that's different. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, the craziest place, I would say... When I was in Panama City Beach, I had sex in an elevator because it just wouldn't... It wasn't moving. Like, we just closed the door, didn't hit a button, <laughs> and it wasn't moving. So we had sex in this elevator. And With then... Not, I mean, I hung out with them a few nights, and then when we were leaving, we like got to the bottom floor and we're walking out, and the security guard just stared at us and like gave us like a big grin the entire time. So I'm <laughs> almost positive that there was cameras in the elevator. That's fun. Was but he holding tissues? And no, <laughs> no <laughs> tissues. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, so 
I think the craziest place for me it was probably like the best view, most scenic, was on one of my friend's boats. Um, we decided to go out like really far out into like the ocean and then like we ended up like on this island and we were just like, well, hey, what else is there to do besides fuck on the water and in my boat and all that <laughs> stuff? So we were like, okay, hey, let's do it. But like, look at all these trees. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, next question from, uh, I lost my place. Oh, from at Chico B, oh, at Chico by 01. Uh, how long was the longest dick that you eat? The longest dick that I've like put down my throat? For sure. Ooh, I have a picture of it on my phone. <laughs> but it was like... Yeah? What is that, like a foot? It's like 10, 11 inches. Oh my god. Nice. I want to say mines would have to be like 10 inches. I don't think I've ever been around like monster cock yet. Although, <laughs> I try to be. <laughs> Just trying. a measly 10 inches. Just a measly 10 inches. I feel like 10 down. inches is still kind of considered a monster cock. Is it? Like, Okay, yeah. I think average is so like, like a really five, big monster, so. like a huge <laughs> cock. Like I don't know. All right, sweet. Next question uh, from at Remington Price One. What Helix model would you like to do a scene with? I was really wanting to do a scene with him and Sean Ford, honestly. Sweet. Um, him. Ryan Bailey's got a jawline. I'm down with jaw lines. <laughs> um, I got my scene with Blake. Um, Actually, wow, there's a few now that I think about it. Yeah, would, Blake would be on my list too. Yeah. And I saw Ryan Bailey say something really cute about me last time on Hashtag Helix, so we could give him a shot too. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right, next question. Um, from Antoine Tougay. Uh, have you ever both, have you both ever milked your prostate? I had to look no. that up this morning. I yeah, we see it, but no, I have not. It sounds like fun, I guess. I mean, I've like I've hands free came before. Oh, that's but fun. I guess that's kind of the same thing. But fun. you just have to keep doing it over and over and over again. But Need more research. Mm -hmm. From at Jace Fisher, what's your favorite position? Like, are we top? Like, just overall in general, uh, favorite? Yeah. For you, you for topping, me, you for bottoming. Me for bottoming? Um, I mean, I really like being, like, up against the wall and being fucked, and I like doggy. I mean, all of them. That's, I'm just going to start naming off all of them one by <laughs> one by the end. You're going to be like, that's all of them. That's all of them, <laughs> but I would probably say, like, being fucked up against a wall and then doggy for bottoming. For me, it would be if the bottom is laying down on his stomach and I'm just on top of him, like, kind of like doggy style, but like laying down doggy. Yeah, like just ass extra perked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Nice. Um, from at Francis Mastro MJ, <clears throat> do you have any celebrity crushes? As crazy as this sound, okay. <clears throat> I've had a crush on Selena Gomez for like the longest fucking time and Everybody does. Kristen Stewart, I was obsessed with her. But guys, like, oh my god. I think there's too many to name, but like, let's see. Francisco Lachowski, he's like a model. I would eat him up, like literally just eat him up. I think that's my number one favorite right now. Dave Franco, dude. Yes! Dave Franco mm. is so fine. He's sexy. And but it's really upsetting because I think James Franco's hot too. But he James is, Franco's hot. the one who's like, I don't label my sexuality or anything. I think yeah. Dave Franco might have said something similar to that too, but I'm not let's hope. sure. Yeah, let let's hope for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but Dave Franco. And then he does all the movies with Zach Efron. Mm. Zach Efron's looking oh. real fine lately. Like, yeah. Damn. From uh, at XX Bind XX. Uh, Joey, do you like traveling? Do you want to come to Korea sometime? And if you come to Korea, I'm willing to be your guide. I would like to go to Korea. I should probably learn a bit, of, a little bit of the language first. But I do like to travel. I also like to be home for like a little bit though. <laughs> so that's just to be able to sleep in your bed is always nice. But I like traveling. It's definitely fun. Okay, cool. Next question from at Francis Mastro MJ. Uh, Joey, what's the best moment you had filming lifeguards? 
Um, honestly, just being fucked in the Jeep in general. Because I want a Jeep. A Jeep is like my dream car. <laughs> I even told them that. And then they went and got a Jeep for the fucking lifeguard movie. Oh, that's so cute. And then I get told that not only do I get to get fucked in the Jeep, but I get to get fucked in the Jeep by Blake Mitchell. So it was like all around a good scene. Sweet. Uh, from at Kyler Sign, uh, how often does Aiden bottom for Elliot and what's it like? Um, we kind of like take turns. So like maybe one day it'll be me bottoming, one day it'll be him. And it's awesome. I don't know, I like having sex with my boyfriend. It's <laughs> great. <laughs> Do you have it scheduled Wednesdays you get to top, Thursdays um, yes. to you more than likely though, like I will only do it like when I'm like really, really in the mood. Like sometimes I'll wake up like thirsty for dick. Like if I don't get this <laughs> dick, I will literally like I feel like a woman on her period or something. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, next question from at Miss C J Willis. For both guys, what are you most afraid of? Afraid of like just biggest fear in general. Like there being no Wi-Fi ever. Like imagine if that shit just cut off. <laughs> <laughs> like over the world, like just all around. Okay, being buried alive, <clears throat> for sure. That's just fucking terrifying. Um, I'm okay with spiders. I'm okay with snakes. Moths freak me the fuck out. It's like <laughs> Lizards because freak me no, out. because there's butterflies and it's like butterflies are pretty, but then there's just like the night moth and that's like the moth of death. I don't fucking know. It's they creep me the fuck out. I don't like them. <laughs> funny. Do you have any, any big fears? Um, lizards are a big fear of mine only because I just remember one time I was showering when I was like really young and my dad thought it was like a really funny idea to like throw a live lizard in the shower while I was like showering. He just threw it in there and I'm like what the fuck? Like that was like life changing for me. Like after that I just can't even look at a fucking lizard. Like what the fuck? <laughs> really funny. It's <laughs> fucked up. Birds scare me too. I don't like birds. I don't like holding birds. Like they're so fragile and like uh, birds in general are fucking creepy. Just, yeah, I don't know. Just walk around just... <laughs> um, from at rerun again. Welcome back Aiden. For both, uh, what's your favorite non-sexual activity? Longboarding slash hiking. So if there was like a hiking trail that you could longboard down, let me know about it. <laughs> I just like to, like my favorite non-sexual activity is just hanging out and like listening to new music by new like artists that like come out or something and just like drawing, doing art, I don't know, I'm kind of like artsy when I'm alone and whatnot. Uh, from at um, Creaky Cage, Joey, will you ever sign up for Chatterbait or do live shows? Actually, I just got a laptop, which I've been waiting to get so I could do Chatterbait. So that will be coming soon. Tune in. Tune in. <laughs> cool. Uh, next question from at Mark Valentino. Uh, Aiden, who is your favorite scene partner from Helix, and what? Who would you like to do one with next? Honestly, I enjoy every scene partner I have because I have feel to like. Pick a favorite though. Okay. Wow. I think <laughs> my favorite of all time has probably been Andy Taylor because he made it so easy to film like. It was like he held me by the hand and just walked me right fucking through it. And I was like, damn, that was easy, thanks. And it was just great, I don't know. Awesome. Oh, um. I think I already know the answer to yours. Yeah, it, the Blake scene, just cause the Jeep. And I just like fucking Jeeps, man. I just <laughs> really like Jeeps. I love it. Um, from at Francis Mastro MJ, is working for Helix how you expected it to be? It's honestly a lot better than I expected. I was about to say the same thing, yeah. Um, Sweet. Working for Helix is actually so much fucking fun. Like, I don't know. It's Like, what other job do you have where you pretty much hang out? Like, you film and everything, but you hang out on set all day. Afterwards, it's not like everybody just goes home. You go out. Yeah, you all hang like, out. Like, we all go out to dinner afterwards all the time. It's, it's like a little, like, family bonding moment yeah. after... And I feel like when everybody starts porn, you kind of expect it to be like a sketchy thing at first. Yes! Like I expected it to be super sketchy and I got here and it was like Everyone that we work with is so, fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, from at Marg 701 
Do you guys ever get weirded out by the attention? And would you recommend porn as a career? To be honest, I love attention. I'm a fucking attention whore, so I can never <laughs> have enough attention. And um, would I recommend doing porn as a career? To be honest, if if it's not something that you're a hundred percent sure that you want to do, then don't do it. But if yeah, you're one sure. of those people where you're like your mind is set and you want to do this, and like you know maybe it's something that you wanted to do for like a long time, then yes, I would totally recommend it. It's so much fun. There's literally like almost no downfalls. So. I would recommend it only if it's what you really want to do. I feel like porn in itself, it's like a job, and then there's like a little bit of a lifestyle to it almost. Yes, I agree. Like, I feel like everybody's got like a similar lifestyle once they start, but it might just be because we all do porn. Like, we just do porn, that just might be the lifestyle doing porn. Of a porn star. But. Sweet. From at Romeo Dude 111 um, what was most difficult? Telling your family you were gay or telling them you were going to do adult films? Uh, see, I never got to really, like, tell my family either of those. Because my mom straight up just walked in on me, like, having sex with my boyfriend in high school. So, I mean, I guess that's how she found oh. out. And then when I got into porn, I didn't really tell her, but she kind of, like, started gluing it or piecing it all together. And she just kind of figured it out. I mean, she can't really doesn't really say anything about it. I don't know. It's chill. I would say, okay, telling my mom I was gay was definitely harder, even though I had my sister tell her for me, actually. But it was still, like, even to tell my sister to tell my mom for me was just a struggle on its own. I don't know why that's such a struggle for everyone. Like, and just, and it's, you just feel so much better afterwards anyways. It's just and like, it's why like, didn't I do this from the beginning? And I knew, I knew my mom already knew that I was gay because everyone knows. She would, we would everyone be shopping knows. and I would like pick out a shirt and she would be like, are you sure you're not gay? <laughs> like straight to my face and I'd be like, yeah, mom, I'm sure, I'm sure. I told all my but, friends I was gay and all they said was we knew it. We were just waiting for you to tell us. And I'm just like, damn, mm -hmm. holy shit. <laughs> but when I started porn, I told my mom before I even started, like kind of as a joke. I told all my friends as a joke and nobody really cared. And then I like, after I actually started it, I told my mom and I'm pretty sure she still thought that it was a joke because she didn't really believe me until the day I was like, hey, I need you to take me to the airport. <laughs> and then she was just like, oh. Okay, from at Man Sam Bam, uh, which celebrity would Joey like to deep throat? And also welcome back, Aiden. Well, Leo finally got his Oscar, so that could be like a celebratory thing. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Young Leo was hot. Johnny Depp back in the day was real hot. Um, but Dave Franco, over it, I would. I just would want to know who has the biggest dick, and then that's who I would go for. Okay, you guys ready for some requests? Sure. Sure. Great. Okay, first request from at Merrick Camera Boys. Uh, request condom free, please. I mean. Done. Yep. I think we can do it. <laughs> Sweet. Next request from at Gay Boys 1998. Uh, welcome back, or sorry, Aiden, welcome back, cutie. Question, can I see you guys flip-flop? Also, yeah, also done. Yeah. Sweet. For sure. Okay, sweet. So the next request is from, uh, uh, at Fans Helix, and it's, uh, can Joey bite Aiden's bottom lip? It's a little kissy lip. Can I bite your bottom lip? You can. Yeah, let's get that, get that doing again. 